Chapter 2, Mishnah 5. The Mishnayas in this chapter have listed a collection of laws that follow the formula of no less than and no more than. That is, laws with a lower limit and an upper limit. The Mishnah now begins to list laws that have a lower limit, but no upper limit. The first of these concerns the lambs used for the daily Tamid offering in the base of Mikdash. The Torah commands us to offer two lambs each day as a communal korban, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Like all korbanas, these lambs must be free of any physical blemish. To make sure that there would be a proper supply of lambs for the Tamid, lambs were checked in advance and kept in a special chamber of the base of Mikdash ready to be used. The Mishnah explains how many inspected lambs were kept in that chamber. We do not keep less than six inspected lambs on hand in the chamber of lambs in the base of Mikdash. Even after the two lambs needed for that day are removed, six inspected lambs must always remain in the chamber, so that when two new inspected lambs are added later that day, there will be a total of eight inspected lambs. This is enough for the Tamid offerings that are brought on a Tuesday to have been inspected the previous Friday when Shabbos, and two days of Rosh Hashanah follow one another, i.e. when Rosh Hashanah follows, falls on Sunday and Monday. However, in addition to the six that must be in the chamber of lambs at all time, we may add to the chamber any number of inspected lambs we want. There's no reason to have only six. The Mishnah's next two laws deal with the number of musical instruments used in the base of Mikdash. These rules are a continuation of the subject begun in Mishnah 3. When the trumpets are blown in the base of Mikdash, we do not blow less than two trumpets together. And we may add to them any number of trumpets that we want. Whenever harps are needed in the base of Mikdash, we do not use less than nine harps, and we may add to them any number of harps we want. However, the symbol must be alone. We do not use more than one set of symbols. This is based on a verse in Divrei Yamim 1, chapter 16, verse 5, that describes Asaf, a levi, as the one who played the symbols. This implies there was only one set.